So today we got something a little bit more special. The guys over at 1UP and Nintendo, of all people, and why me, I ask, uh, have sent me an N64 controller, their new N64 controller, which we'll show on screen now. And I thought when I pulled this out, hey, this con this controller wire is a bit short. And then I noticed there was buttons on the back. And then I noticed it was charging and green lights were going up. This thing's wireless. I did not know this. So that that's pretty awesome. I've got it on, on plugged in while I'm playing now on charge, just so we don't lose connection. But they want me to check out the N64 controller and GoldenEye that just launched with the expansion pass membership. Uh, now, full disclosure, of course, they did send me the controller to check out and then take a look at the remaster of GoldenEye, which should be running at a higher resolution. So to play online, you have to actually have other friends that play GoldenEye and then you can find each other's lobby online, but you can't match make with random players, which is a bit of a bummer. But this is always best with some friends anyway. So for now, we're going to check out single player and see if we can run through on double agent on dam. So we have some new control styles to try actually so let's try solitaire we can move with our left hand on the d-pad look around with the thumbstick and shoot with the back z button might be a little bit better and we can aim with our left index finger as well this might be a little bit of a better setup for us this controller always makes me wish i had three hands so go through the settings and we notice we're on a four by three aspect ratio let's change that to 16 by nine get a bit of a higher resolution look going that's better right let's try these new controls up down yeah we're good okay this is more natural for me and i still miss all my shots but we'll ignore that if i can aim here We got him. There's one. There's two. Got to be a contortionist to reload, though. Oi. I thought I'd killed him. There we go. Got him. Let's go get the sniper up in this tower. the music more than anything that takes me right back so nostalgic pick up some of this ammo and let's see if i can actually aim with this sniper down here i know there's a couple in this bunker let's just be nice and careful there's one There's two. I think that guy's just come out of the tower. Did we get him? Blow up those boxes right next to him. I think we're good. There we go. Let's open this next door. Oh no, he set the alarm off. Okay. Gonna be in trouble now. Use this truck for cover. Somebody behind me, I think. Oh yeah, they're sending in reinforcements.
Ah, we got him. We got him. There we go. Let's clear out the dam and then dive off. Oh, they heard me. Solitaire is so much more of a comfortable layout. Get all these alarms. I don't remember where they are. I'll probably forget one. Oh, there we go. That's all of them. What a shot. Riding right the jugular. You can't shoot me. I'm out of here. There we go both objectives complete secret agent not too bad take a little bit of getting used to going back to the n64 controller but this is it does feel really good quality i don't feel any different uh, off the top of my head remembering back i have got an n64 with a bunch of controllers and i did try it a couple of years ago and it, it felt weird let's just say that but as nintendo have sent me this to check out i thought i wouldn't it's very accurate to the original n64 controllers it feels very similar just as good a quality as you remember the original N64 controllers were. Uh, the analog stick, though, as I know, they had... Uh, it looks very similarly built, the analog stick. It doesn't look like it's any thicker or, you know, a little bit more substantially built. So that could wear over time if used a lot. Remember the powder buildup, if you remember, from the, uh, the, the grey off-white plastic rubbing all around that hexagonal analog hole? And you'd get like the white powder build up around there where it just grind away at your analog stick and eventually it would go floppy and you'd get drift happening so hopefully that's not as much an issue with this this new n64 controller for the switch but the fact that it's wireless uh, that just impressed me that blew my mind i really appreciate them thinking of me and sending me this n64 controller to check out it's not the kind of thing that i usually get thought of with this kind of thing on my channel uh but i'm always more than willing to check out these peripherals and things to do a quick review and overview for you guys and uh, yeah, I'm really impressed. So if you're into N64 and fancying and thinking about getting the expansion pass, it works out just under £3 a month, but you've got to pay it as a whole 12-month uh, package, uh, which I did pay for myself. It's just the controller that I was sent, uh, as always, full disclosure from my my part. So you get a good catalogue of games to play as well with the N64. You get the, uh, I think, Game Boy Now, uh, Game Boy Advance, and things like that. So there's quite a few games to uh, to be playing and trying out with this new controller. I will leave links, as always, in the description below to the membership on Nintendo Switch Plus Expansion Pass and a link to the N64 controller itself if you guys are interested. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Uh, would you uh, look, look forward to going back to the N64 controller or not? And your memories with the N64, let me know those in the comments section below. It's always good to reminisce and tell me stories and tales of playing with friends, multiplayer on GoldenEye or any other game. I look forward to hearing from you. Don't forget to hit that like button as it really does help the channel out a lot. Subscribe if you want to continue to see the content I create. Most of all, thank you for watching and I'll see you peeps next time.